Hello, beautiful people. If you are watching this, it means that you're unable to make it to the live session. We started out in class while you're waiting on class mates googling realism and pop art ask students which one they liked better and do you have a favorite artist who and why we had a social emotional check-in there what did we learn about last time we had class what were some important takeaways the state standard analyzed the cause and effects of the renaissance scientific revolution and the enlightenment Today, you'll learn about the causes and effects of the Northern Renaissance so that you can analyze those causes and effects. And you know you have it when you earn 80% on your formative assessment after today's live lesson. So the Renaissance thought and ideas originated in Italy around the 14th century. It took nearly a century for those ideas to spread to other parts of Europe. Using this map, which direction did it spread? Why so long? The Black Death made Northern European economy and society largely unstable in the 1300s. The recovery process was slow. The Hundred Years' War between France and England was long and destructive. It helped in and help the end of it spread the renaissance ideas of renewal into these regions the italian wars of the 1490s helped introduce renaissance ideas to france they also helped cause large-scale migration of italian artists to other parts of europe these artists spread their ideas of the renaissance as they travel why would these events slow renaissance thoughts and ideas Northern European Renaissance. It spread to Finland, Germany, France, and England. And Northern European art, literature, philosophy began to reflect Renaissance thought. As in Italy, humanism was an important part of these disciplines. But unlike the Italian Renaissance, Northern European art emphasized realism rather than Greco-Roman ideas. What's the difference? Frescoes weren't as common in Northern Europe as they were in Italy. Northern Europe's cool, damp climate was unsuitable for painting frescoes. Oil emerged as the chief mode of painting in Northern Europe. Many artists preferred this form of painting as oil allowed them to experiment with color and lighting effects. So I asked students to look at these two paintings and what fill features illustrates these ideas of humanism and realism. Books, books, and book. What century did Europe first produce more than 1 million transcripts or manuscripts? Based on this data, in what century was the printing press most likely invented? What data from the graph supports your guess? The printing press. New technology also helped spread Renaissance ideas in Northern Europe. The introduction of the Gutenberg printing press in 1445 revolutionized the spread of information and knowledge. Why was the printing press revolutionary? The Gutenberg press made it possible to print books in a short amount of time. Before the press, making books was tedious, time consuming and expensive. As a result, books were available only to the elite and wealthy. The Gutenberg printing press made books more affordable and accessible to a larger part of the population. Literacy rates increased and information spread more quickly. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare was perhaps the most important figure of the Northern Renaissance. An English poet and playwright, Shakespeare wrote comic, comedies, tragedies, plays, as well as a number of historical plays about the lives of English monarchs. He wrote in English and explored different Renaissance ideals such as humanism and realism. Shakespeare's characters have human emotions and are quite complex. His dialogue was easy for the average person to understand. Shakespeare's works reflected themes to which many people could relate to. He is also credited with adding about 1,700 words to the English language. Can you name any of Shakespeare's work? For the wind and the end. So give me one difference and or one similarity of the Italian Renaissance versus the Northern Renaissance.
Next, you will go to your Google Classroom to complete your Google Form quiz. It's 20% of your grade. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, email your teachers and have a mighty day.